Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You are watching Israeli News Live. We have breaking news coming out of the United States. Uh, this is the first day that President Erdogan, the Turkish president, is speaking publicly in Washington, D.C. He was there today earlier with uh, Vice President Joe Biden near at his side, also expected to be meeting with President Obama making time for his trip here. He is a very controversial figure right now, uh, especially in light of the uh, constant reports coming in from around the world of how he abuses and attacks and is violating human rights uh, against uh, the Kurdish people that are both in his country as well, even crossing into Iraq and attacking and in Syria and continuing to attack uh, the Kurdish people, and that happens to be a U.S. ally. It's a, sh it's a shame that the President of the United States is even uh, inviting him to the country in light of all this, but the shame has only gotten worse in this breaking report coming today out of TelSirTV.net, uh, and I believe one other uh, news, I think it's Sputnik News, also has reported that Erdogan's Turkish guards have attacked a journalist. Uh, their title is a little different than what ours is here, but very similar. And uh, we're going to share with you uh, uh, some of the footage here. Uh, Brian Reeves on Twitter also shared a, a little clip from his there. I'm not sure, but this was on their website here, this information here. Let me share with you what's going on here. The reporter is to the left of your screen. It is a woman reporter, and this is Erdogan's guards. They were demanding that the, uh, that the police the Washington police will remove all the protesters before he come outside, which they refused to do. And not only was a reporter attacked, but suppose, supposedly another woman bystander was attacked. This particular reporter here was being called by them a PKK whore. She is a Turkish citizen, uh, and no doubt she was challenging them, but they got, they pulled in on her, and then the next thing you know, they do attack her. This footage, you won't see the attack, they're demanding her to leave, but watch what happens here in this footage here that a private citizen takes. There you go. They, they're, they're struggling with her to take something from her, whether it be her recorder or whatever it was that she has, her cell phone, it was taken from her. The police are not stopping uh, what's going on. Whether or not she got back what belonged to her or not, she is extremely angry over it and has every right in the world to be angry. I mean, what is done here is absolutely a crime by these, uh, these particular guards right here. It should not have been done. And let me just show you that footage again. Watch this. They snatch away from her. He is forcing and fighting with her, calling her a PKK whore, according to bystanders that were there. Uh, of course, the PKK is a, is a Kurdish party in Turkey, uh, but very serious situation, no doubt. Uh, and it's even concerning her being a Turkish citizen. She's a journalist here in the United States, uh, but she will end up having, uh, if she hasn't already done it, she will have to apply for probably asylum in the United States because if she goes back to her country, I can only imagine what the Turks would do to her. As we've seen, they have imprisoned a number of people already. Anyone that comes against the Turkish government is put into prison. I'm Stephen Benoon. Later this evening, we'll be bringing more details of the crimes of Turkey and even how it's fulfilling biblical prophecy in an amazing way. Be Stay tuned later this evening as we bring you this special report. Shalom and good evening.